the sun sends us warmth and light across 150 million kilometers of space. Sometimes, however, the sun's 6,000 degrees centigrade surface can send us more dangerous things. Very large solar flares cause greatly increased amounts of radiation and high energy particles to flow towards the Earth, creating magnetic storms and disturbing the ionosphere. This is also what causes natural spectacles like the aurora. Solar flares are a threat to today's technology-dependent society. Increased radiation and high-energy particles can damage the satellites we rely on for broadcasts and communications. Solar flares cause interference to weather maps transmitted from satellites. Car navigation systems rely on GPS satellites, which are affected by solar activity. Airplanes and ships use shortwave radio communications that become impossible when the ionosphere is disturbed. Solar weather forecasters perform the essential job of predicting such disturbances and minimizing their impact. The Communications Research Laboratory is one of a small number of organizations worldwide that observe and analyze the space environment and forecast changes in its weather. Dr. Takashi Kikuchi leads a team of specialists who use real-time data from a 30-nation network of satellites and ground stations to analyze space events and predict their effects. The last stage before issuing each forecast is a TV conference between the laboratory and its solar observatory to discuss the day's analysis. The laboratory's daily space weather forecast is transmitted around the world. Today we have more and more people living and working out in space. Our weather forecasts ensure that space station personnel know when to protect themselves from abnormal bursts of harmful radiation. The more we extend our frontiers outside the bounds of this planet, the more we need to expand the scope of our forecasts to cover not only the global environment, but also the sun and its turbulent, sometimes dangerous weather. <laughs>